Ill Show is brought to you by UCS Facility Management Limited, Omni Basic Bank, and Dewdrop Hand Sanitizer. Well, my first guest has done something that most of us wouldn't even venture. Now, before I go into details, let's watch this. Welcome here. Thank you so much for joining us, Helen Tay. I mean, I'm honored to have you here. Oh. You're doing something that's quite amazing. And how are you feeling? Good. I like your outfit, though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wrapping African prints, right, on a Friday yes. night. That's lit. <laughs> All right, tell us, tell us, why, why did you decide to venture into this? Um, I, I may say I, I love to operate and then um, handle machines as well. When I was growing up, I, I loved dealing with machines. When I come after, I, I close them. <laughs> um, I, I love handling them. So I thought of going into operating race tacker would be the best. So I, I started from the forklift and then jumped to the race tacker. Myself also, during my um, technical school time, I did all um, welding and all those. It's all about the things men do. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. But did you have somebody who was doing that that inspired you to also do the same? No, 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 not at all. I, I remember before we go to secondary school, we were twins, okay? And then my mother was like, we should go to secondary school. I never liked the secondary school thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, no, then I want to go to the technical institute. My mother says, ah, how? <laughs> you are a woman. Go to secondary school. Do general arts. And come and read news for me to hear. <laughs> come and say in my position, right? <laughs> and I said, no. So we went to the school, though. Ashama Secondary by then. We went to the school, though. I was not happy about the school. I was like, ah, what is this? So one time, my senior did something, and then I got offended. I was like, I won't go to the school again. Then I had to go to Tebatek, look for admission for myself. Wow. And come back to tell my mother, I found myself admission. So I want to go to Tebatek. <laughs> Wow, you're a very strong <laughs> woman. How did your mother take that? Uh, she, was not, she was not happy, but she has no any other choice. Like, go. I'm tired of you. <laughs> <laughs> How was the journey there? Were you the only woman in the class? Um, yes. By wow. then, in Tumatia case, I was, I was the only female in the wow. class by then. Before, um, my, that, my seniors also were there. I have one female. That was my school mother piece by then, yes. So, but in my class, I was the only lady. Wow. And afterwards, where did you go? You went um, to afterwards, um, I began to fall in love with operations. So one day, I went to, to see my father's friend at the port. He was using these trucks. And I was like, ah, Daddy, can't you teach me how to drive the trucks? He said, ah, trucks? Why? Why do you <laughs> want to do this to yourself? I said, Daddy, I want to learn. If you teach me, I will learn. He then said, no, okay then. I will take you to, by then, 2015, by then. So he said, okay then, I want to take you to Kapoa. They train Rishitaka. 
and then forklift, okay. heavy duty machines. If you're ready to learn, then I take you there. We went there and they squeezed down. Oh. <laughs> so what will I do? He said, Daddy, you have to let me learn this thing, you know. So my father forget about it, and then I, I find my way out. I went to Don Bosco to learn their, wrist, um, their forklift by then. So I was working with Amandi, and then on my way for lunch one afternoon, I saw one man on this machine. He was just lifting the container from here, that place <laughs> to the other. That was like, wow. I was just standing watching. I approached the man, and I was like, please, can you teach me how to operate the machine? He said, no, 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 we don't do this here. Even if my supervisor see me now, I'll be in problem, yeah. so we don't do it. I was like, ah, how? So how did you learn? Because if you can't teach somebody, then how did you learn? I was just going and then I was just thinking about it all by myself. I went to lunch, I came back, he's still there. I said, Master, you teach me. You have to teach me. I want to learn this thing. <laughs> you have to teach me. I said, okay, the young lady, you know what? I will introduce you to one man. Go and see him. He, he has this hiring machines that he can teach you. Yeah. But as it stands now, we don't have any institution that teaches the rich taka. Really? The yes, whole of yes, Ghana? yes, yes, we don't. Wow. Wow. So yes. you, have to, you have to see somebody who knows. So yes. Mm -hmm. with you. Then you learn. So I went to see I went to see my boss by then, um Tio. Oh, he was a nice person. When I met him, he was like, Are you are you sure you can <laughs> operate this? It's a heavy duty truck. Do you know? I said, Yes, I know. If I can't, I wouldn't come. So let's see the way forward. He then said, okay, you pay this. I said, okay, we bargained to something. I was okay, <laughs> okay, then we started. But the amazing part of it was, I thought I'll be going every day to learn. I'll go every day to learn. But mm -hmm. little did I know that unless he has, um, he has been booked to come and work in a terminal, that is where you mm -hmm. will call me to come. Oh, wow. That means that's when he's using the machine to yes. so come and watch and watch. Yes, and yes. So I, I did not get the chance to learn continuously. So sometimes I will go and then for about one month, we don't go. Wow. But I'll be in the house. I'll think, so how will I learn this thing? How maybe will I become what you learn. perfect? And then the time that he will call you when there is a job for you people to do is late. 11 a.m. So off. we are going to just tell you, Helen, today we have, we have been booked to come and work at this terminal mm -hmm. at 11 p.m. I have no option like take a mutu and then go and then meet him wherever that he Why is. Why are you scared when you're doing that? Mm, I oh. want to learn the thing. And what, 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 one thing about me is I, when I like something, I involve myself because I still like to be challenged. Yeah. yeah so I, I, when he calls me, I don't say I can't come. Sometimes you even propose, are you sure you can come? say, boss, I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll go. Then even if I go, he will not give me a machine to work with. He will, he will work all throughout. Later on, then he said, okay, come and take these two containers and then stack them. Let's go. So it was like that. It started like that, like that, like that. One day I told him, boss, I'm going to look for a job. He said, what? What do you mean by going to look for a job? <laughs> Are you done? I said, well, but this one that we go every month, dear. I had to go look for a job. He said, ah, we are not joking, no. Do you know it's a heavy duty machine? I said, yes, I know. So I'm going to look for a job. I then go back to my daddy again because my daddy was using that tracks by oh, then. Okay. So I was like, daddy, now I'm perfect. Hey. I want to go and then work. <laughs> <laughs> that day my daddy was like, ah, really, you are perfect. Then he then called some few friends and he was like, okay, then let's go. We introduced to somebody so that we see how it goes. Okay. So the day they took me to the yard, um, MPS Terminal 3 by then, hmm, it was not easy. <laughs> when I got there, they were like, lift the container and then stack. I did it. Oh. I did it. <laughs> but when I came out, the scores that they were giving me, I was like, ah, how? Me, I was. I, I wouldn't take that. <laughs> I wouldn't take that because if they are grading me from ten to five, I said, okay, I have. I can encourage myself mm. with that one. So that was the way it started. That was the way it started. <laughs> I'm so excited. How long did your training take, though? The one you did with the man for the witch sucker? I would say because it's not a continual thing that we have been doing. Maybe one month before I go. Maybe two weeks before I go. 
So, but I can count the number of times mm. I mount the machine with him. Wow. I think it's about five times. Wow. Yes. 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 Wow. Yes. So then, then you really have passion for this because <laughs> how would you feel very, very confident in yourself to even try and lift one in front of your father and the people you're trying to get a job from? One, one my, my father's friend was taking me to go for the trial. He was like, are you sure you can do this? Ah, look at you, he's like, ah, are you sure you can <laughs> do this? I said, you just take me, let me do it now. By then, I was just going to track my luck. I was just going to try my luck because I knew I didn't get luck, what, yes, yeah. what I was expecting. So I went and I did, I was able to pack the thing, pick the, the container, the container stack it. it, move it from another. I was like, okay, okay, <laughs> then come out, let's go. <laughs> so, I mean, looking at, looking at your experience so far, what would you say are some of the major challenges, apart from the fact that you're just a woman, that people may not expect that you'll be able to, what are some of the challenges? And also another challenge you mentioned is that there's no school here in Ghana mm. where you can learn how to use mm. a reach stacker. Apart from that, what are some of the other challenges that you've had? Oh, as it stands now, for people are ready to learn, mm -hmm. but where to learn is the problem. So that's amazing. Yes, I, I have 1,010 friends that will call like, mm. I want to learn, how do I say Women Masa? inclusive? Yes. Wow. I want to learn, how, how will I start? I said, Master, I'll be the maid too. <laughs> so why are you so be demeted? And then don't think, say, you have paid for the thing. So the way you want to be taught, that That's is the way they're going to teach you, no. They'll teach you, you not how get they can it. teach yes. you. Yes. I say, oh, yes, true way, you know. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah so. so right now, have you perfected yes, your Yes, I'm done. Class? I'm working with Hip Hop Company Limited. That is great. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm super <laughs> proud. Anyway, now, looking at family, okay? Yes. Family and friends, how has the support been so far? Uh, like I was how saying. How has society taken it? Yes, as I was saying before, my father was like, ah, you girl, what is wrong with mm -hmm. you? So sometimes I don't like to be shattered. Anything that I want to do, I, I find it difficult to discuss it because the moment you say you don't have to, then you give me another yeah. reason to think, why? Why then? So I will first go in, come back and tell you I'm in. So whatever you see, because I've paid already, I can't mm. come out, I'm there. Yeah, well, that's a good strategy, though. <laughs> it means you had the go for space. Yes. I'll go well, on there. If what I'm are there, some of the, 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 the good sides, though? You know, we've, talk, we've spoken about challenges, mm -hmm. but what are some of the benefits, you would say, oh. or the good sides of this show you've taken? It's lovely. I, I would say it's, it's lovely because... People commend you. Yes, yeah. even the way the guys treat me, <laughs> like, oh, I invite. I sometimes feel happy. That we, when they see me around, they are happy. Like, start when you do. Was that the like, same thing when you're going through school? When I was. When you were in school, no. were the guys that positive? Oh yes. When I was in school, I never find any challenge of intimidation or those. They are all happy. They are like bringing me close to them. So they finally give me a name to be boys, boys. And boys, I'm, boys. Yes, and I'm okay <laughs> and I'm with that. Calling you boys, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay with that. So, oh. And the same boys, I stand down my boss. Yes, my boss at I. Let me just give him some shout out. Yes. <laughs> Carlos who said, boys, boys. And I said, boys, boys. Yes, then we move on. <laughs> oh, wow, that's beautiful. So now oh, I guess nice. your dad is now comfortable. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you have siblings? Yes, How I have. How do they feel about it? Oh, they're okay. And um, the amazing part is, like, I have one, my Gina brother, mm -hmm. that I had wanted him to go and then learn, but he's not giving me that to, to go. Wow. And then it's, it's just putting <laughs> me off, but I had to accept it like that. Yeah. If he don't want to do, I can't force him, yeah. but it's nice experience. Oh, I'm glad you're that yes. excited to yes, even want yes, your yes, little yes, brother yes, to also yes, do yes, it. Yes, yes, but let's nice. look at the whole industry. Do you think it's profitable? Yes. It's profitable, yes. huh? Mm, I like the yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should see him in cash. <laughs> Well, yes. do you, what are some of the safety precautions that you have to take is when it, you are... Um, yes, you, you have to be focused. On the machine, you don't joke. Yeah. Because it's a heavy-duty charge. You're working yeah. with cargo containers. So you don't have to joke at all. Be focused. What you're doing, put your all and do it. I can see the seriousness yes, in your yes, face. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Everybody says that. You, you don't have smiling face. Why? But... Sometimes when you go to work, it's not time to be laughing about. This is a place that when you enter into the terminals, eh, 
you don't even walk around. It's a place that you, are, you don't dare walk around. Even if I go to work, I work for eight hours, okay? Wow. And the eight hours, maybe I would love to do it for four. Four hours, I come out, somebody come to change me. The person that is coming to change me is coming with a shuttle bus. As soon as I get up the machine, he entered into the shuttle bus away. You don't need to walk around. So it's a place that you don't go and then be joking. You don't even see people. But we work at <laughs> late at night also. Yes, because you, are, you might be sleeping and then I might be working and say, hey, it was sad reaction, but I understand. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So on a normal day, okay, take us through your normal daily activities, like the okay. time you wake up, the time you could end up going to home after work and all that. Okay. I want to experience it with you. Um, normally I have to report at work. Work starts at 7. So I had to go earlier before 7. Oh, wow. then, yes, we go for two sports, <laughs> being encouraged, how to work, safety precautions. Before then, you go to your machine, wherever the machine is parked, the machine you have to use. You could mm -hmm. see that the one that I was using was 06, yes. so their names. We have the empty handler and then we have the rich stacker. So those of us that we use the rich stacker, we go to the machine, you pick the number that you want to work with, mm -hmm. you have to do your checklist. We have a checklist book in our machines, you pick it. You check if your boom is working properly, your spreader is working properly. You check your test logs, you check your, your gears, everything is okay. Then you go check your hydraulics also, <laughs> your hydraulics oil, your engine oil, your water. If your machine is dirty, you keep it tight. Then work starts. You, you have enter. a uniform you put yes. on. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. You, oh, you wear nice. your overall, your overcoat with your safety boots, your helmets, mm -hmm. your gloves, you need them. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and then you say you close as late as 11 p.m.? Yeah, no, sometimes um, if I had to do eight hours, okay, I would say I would do it for four. Okay. So I start seven, I get off the machine 11, then another person come for it. Oh. I go and rest till three, I come back. Oh, okay, that's great then. <laughs> but so far there's not been any issue, maybe like... Um, something falling on somebody, like any sort of accidents or sorts at it, the workplace? It happens. It, it happens. happens, but not often. Okay. It happens, yes. Especially first stacks, when you are stuck in a container, the first one, mm -hmm. the next one that you're about to, you are not careful, you might push a container yeah. away. Oh. Yes, so you have to be very vigilant. Wow. That. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how do you feel after driving such a heavy-duty machine and then you enter a normal car? <laughs> like... It looks abnormal. If I'm using, <laughs> it looks <laughs> abnormal. Yes. If I'm using the automobile cars, uh, like I want to do, uh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> too know. simple, huh? Eh? Esa, <laughs> <laughs> too small for you. <laughs> too small. Like, uh, what is this? But when I'm in the big one, the heavy duty, the rich tucker, mm -hmm. you see the automobile cars giving me way. If I'm coming, I'm yeah. pushing them away. Yeah. <laughs> so, I do that all the time on the highway. When I see a big truck, I'm like, hmm, I think I'll come and pass. I don't want any trouble with you. So I understand. Okay. But I looking at the fact that we don't really have schools that mm. teach how to operate the rich stacker, are you planning on something of the sort? Maybe have, you come together with some of your colleagues and start yeah, a practical. I have. I have. You thought I of that? I have the chance and then I have the resource. I will buy a what machine. What resource do you need? You need to buy the machine Money. first? Yes, buy the oh, machine. Okay. Very expensive. Yes, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. You buy the machine, and then you can train people. Yes. Women too, right? Yes. Women are ready to learn. Exactly. They want to learn the machine, but where? The means. Yes, the means. And some of them also are not ready to sacrifice, like I did. I, I go for night, like the time my boss will call me to come. Yeah. Sometimes midnight, and you have to go because you want to learn. But even men are not ready to do that. Yeah. Yes, because when I went to the Bosco to do the forklift thing, yes, I have mates, I have course mates by then. Yeah. When I was going to do this rich stacker thing, I was like, Masa, I've gotten somebody that will teach me if you will join. It's just expensive, but if you will join, you better. But as it stands now, they're still called. Now they are ready to do, but who is there to teach you? <laughs> oh, goodness. Who is there to see she? Well, I pray that very soon you and a couple of your Amen. colleagues can start something Amen. of this sort. So Amen. we have more women, you know, filling oh, yes. that industry. Yes, yes.
But anyway, yes. before you go, okay, I want to know how you keep all this up. You look lovely, I must <laughs> say. You know, most of the time, people have this perception when you have a woman who is doing something that looks physically stressful, you know, that you're operating such a big machine, they would expect that you may not pay attention to your looks and all of that. You came with your beautiful makeup. I love your brows. Thank you. Your hair is colorful. Thank you. I love your dress and everything and your jewelry. I mean, you look nice. And I'm like, oh, do you even get time for yourself? Like, how do you spend some me time and have fun? I have. I really have fun. Maybe. When the time, the chance is there, oh, mother, you love it. <laughs> you love it, huh? I make good use of it. <laughs> give us, give us, give us some parting words, like something encouraging for people watching oh, who okay. are encouraged by your story. Any oh, last okay. words for them? Uh, what I would say to my ladies is um, they have to come out and do what the men are doing. It's yeah. fetching. It's better to spend your own money than somebody giving it to you now. So they should come out and then work. To wait for themselves. And for the, the, the fame that they are looking for, it's in there at the ports. Ah. Yes. <laughs> when you go out to see the whole people embrace you, they are oh. happy to see you. You are Helen, yes. The rich star cooperator, yes. And it's nice. Oh, yeah. The feeling is nice. So it doesn't it affect your social life, no, does no, no, it? No, not at all. Perfect. Not at all. Especially when you're going for weddings and all those things and parties, they are happy. <laughs> <laughs> the guys are just happy I'm there. Oh. That is amazing. So you heard from Helen. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Do stay focused. She stayed focused. She didn't let anything put her down. And then she made sure that she chased something that she was actually in love with. So that despite the hurdles, she's always going to keep overcoming. And today she is a rich stack operator. And I'm sure you're probably one of the very few women in the country, even not the only one. No Any anybody. female that uses the rich stacker, but I know of female that use the RTG and then the um, ship to source. Yes, I know for that one. But for the rich stacker, yeah. I have no idea. Exactly. Yet so to. you put your mind Yet to it. To. You can't do it just like Helen Tay. Thank you so much. <laughs>